Alright, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Walkthrough. Um, last time we left off, in truth, I have no idea. I'm just going to assume we have something to do with the Espada Ropera. I'm not Ricard's way, Rapier. Um, truthfully, I have no idea. It has been probably about a month since I've recorded. Um, the last Dark Souls video probably was uploaded the 13th of April, 14th of April, something like that. Um, the current date of recording now is the 29th. 29th? Yeah, the 29th of April. So I know a lot of people are wondering, where have you been? Well, the answer to that is kind of simple and then not so simple. Um... The first thing is, I have been very busy, uh, extremely busy. I, I, although I will say this, I do remember that the Shrine of Amana was the last place that we went. Probably not somewhere I'm going to want to deal with in my current state, but I'll get to that in a moment. But I've been very busy dealing with college prom and all of that good stuff as a high school student. Um, so I would have to put things on the back burner. And as far as school, church, and everything else, sadly, I had to kind of put YouTube on the back burner. And I kind of, I usually like to have 30 to 40 videos, well, not 30 to 40, but 10 to 20 videos of each game I have running, going, you know. And I just so happen to not have did that. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Excuse me again. And he almost died. Uh, anyway. That. Okay. Uh. How do you do that again? Oh, it must be down. Must be down. But yeah, anyway. Like I was saying, I. Is it. Was, uh. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of out of the rhythm of recording. But, um. I was going to say, um, I've just been extremely busy as well as, oh, uh, another, wait, switch to my Uchi Katana stand back, because you can come get this, the last thing I want to do is fall off for that, though. Um, and, anyway, like I was saying, uh, I have just been, you know, no manners. You really don't understand how. Sir, die. I think the last hit is the most damage. But yeah, uh, you just don't believe how tired I have been. Uh, so anyway. Beyond that, um, uh, one thing that... Uh, a lot of people, if you look up tips and tricks and all of that, this stuff for YouTube, people tell you record when you feel like recording. I also did not feel like recording for a little bit. And that was made worse by the simple fact. And literally quite simple. Um, As of late, because I don't particularly have a job. Come on, sir. Don't want to deal with you, sir. Uh, these guys hit hard. And they do a decent little bit of damage. But they still fall prey to the backstab. Two-handed. Rapier attack. Yeah. He generally... Oh, well, no, he didn't drop his twinkling this time. Uh, but yeah. So, wait. Fire arrows won't be helpful. I probably should go back and get some lightning arrows. But for today's purposes, I ain't doing that right now. Uh, yeah, it usually takes about three hits. Um, that's what I usually do. I try to... Now, over in this area, and later on in this um, particular area, there will be drops uh, where it's not entirely, you know, like land. 
Uh, I can kind of tell it off of my memory, but um, yeah, that's something you're going to have to be aware of. And there is an easy way to deal with it, but this build doesn't do it very well. And that is fire. You light a torch and everything in the area will come towards you. Which I'll actually even do. Light torch. And on another build idea. And you gotta look for the ripples in the water. I may have killed everything. But um, like I said, I actually had a tower shield that was perfect for that. It was absolutely perfect because see what I meant? I attracted all of those with the fire and it just took them a while to get here so still relatively easy but they do bleeding damage so you beware of that other than that standard techniques to kill them works uh, anyway like I was saying um, I'm not really felt like recording um, but after a while you kind of have to say we knew you were coming my bad. And stop singing. Wait, trying to get a good angle for it. We are Milfanito. That should work. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long long ago we know nothing of the world outside and why should we for we will never leave do you seek king vendrick but what is a king after all we know nothing of the world outside for we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can do. When we okay, I just wanted to get the dialogues out for walkthrough's sake. Um, and before I get wrapped into too many different topics, I want to hit a couple of things. Now, the giggling that you heard in the background was a curse jar. If I was to come around here, uh, you'll see me destroy it. But the one thing I want to say is uh, I will be doing the DLC that is guaranteed now I'm basically um, if I can get to the undead purgatory not undead purgatory undead crypt I'm pretty sure that's what's called the undead crypt that I will definitely uh, I'll definitely do that right after that being said um, that reminded me Uh, it reminded me of one of the reasons why I was so upset, but I don't really have a lot of time in this particular video So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here, and then I will get to that explanation in the next video So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know um, It's been a long time since a video but uh, like I said, in the next video, I'll get to the explanation of that. And there's really no valid point, but maybe you will understand a little bit and be a little bit acceptable and forgiving to it once I tell you why. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know I didn't get too far into the gameplay or anything like that in this particular video, but this is one of those annoying areas that, well, you don't rush. So, uh...
Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe.